whether it's Ian McKellen, John Hurt, Derek Jacobi or Laurence Olivier, actors have always had their own idiosyncratic way of playing Shakespeare. Uh, one of my favourites, though, was always Sir John Gielgud. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep no more, and by that sleep say Frodo Baggins that we end the thousand natural shocks that flesh is there to. This a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Ah, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this <coughs> mortal coil must <coughs> give us pause. No, 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 Derek. Don't do it as if you're in I, Claudius. Do it as if you're in Star Wars. For when Obi-Wan Kenobi shuffled off his mortal coil... He still came back and did the sequel. Oh, yes, and, and Maggie Smith, Ma Ma Maggie Smith, she, she'll come back uh, 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 and play Gertrude, yes, in, in exactly the same way. She plays the Countess of Grantham. <laughs> no matter what the part, you always get the same performance. Uh, Ophelia, stop fascinating Hamlet. Come over here and make a fourth at bridge. <laughs>